hey i don't know something just changed on my phone anyways look i just want to add this to to that verse look um, there there's a very uh, it's a beautiful feeling but very foreboding um <laughs> we're about to go home people all those who have that extra oil that are that's burning bright and ready and want to go look if you don't believe in the rapture if you don't want to leave this world if you want to try to hang on to it and survive here as long as you can possibly can live as long as you possibly can odds are you ain't going <laughs> i hate to say it like that but that's that's the way it is and basically by your own conceit believing what you want to believe what you were taught what's in your own mind you don't understand but besides that he's once we're gone once all true spirit filled born again full of the holy spirit and look here here's here's the thing i'm not saying i'm better than anybody <laughs> i am not and and i know every christian out there who's truly born again it's like the more you know and study, the more you know how unworthy we actually are and what actually transpired and how unworthy we are. So it's like a double-edged sword in a way, in that way too. You <laughs> understand the scriptures, people. It's not going to get just so terrible and so bad that that's when you think it's going to happen. No, it's not like that. He says it in his word. You're going to be living along. I mean, we see what's going on with this delusion. <laughs> Another part of the strong delusion that we're all being fed. But anyways, this is nothing yet. <laughs> People are going to be eating, drinking, marrying, partying. And then we're gone. We're gone. We're going to be taken away. So don't think the world has to get just so bad. Look, what church you belong to isn't going to save you. What, uh, if you you think your good outweighs your bad, oh, I'm a good person, you know, I think I'll squeak by. That ain't going to save you. Um, you know, the law, by keeping the law, obeying the commandments, not going to save you. Belonging to a certain ethnicity, like you're, you think you're a, a true Israelite because of your ethnicity, or, or Jewish, and being Jewish is going to save you, that's not it. That's not it. His word is very clear if you bother to study it long enough and deep enough. You are separated from God until you are reborn and grafted back into the tree of life through the gift of his Holy Spirit given by his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. The first, last, and only physical representation of God himself, the Alpha and Omega, Jesus Christ. You must be born again of the Spirit. And that's when you become a true Israelite. You're no longer a Gentile. You become a true Israelite. That's what his word says in multiple places. Multiple places. And if you study it deeply, you'll see it for yourself. And unfortunately, most people are, are like my shirt says, uh, the silent majority. We're not called to be silent. You know, I'm not called to be silent. And uh, but if you don't have the right answer, I mean, we, we're supposed to always be in His Word, so that when we're asked a question, we can point people in the right direction through His Holy Spirit. Only the Holy Spirit can open someone's eyes. You know, like I said, there's people out there that ask me the same question month after month, week after week, throw out the same garbage. You know, they don't want to know. They're content to mock and scoff and question without taking that. Per Look, I, I exercise. I exercise uh, three, four, five times a week, as often as I can, for as long as I can, you know, as long as I'm able. 
I try to take care of my body, you know. And look, I've had nine surgeries. I've had multiple cancer surgeries and stuff, you know, skin cancer. And some of them were really deep. But, um, I mean, we do the best we can to take care of our physical being. But it's just a house. It's just a vessel. It's a covering that's inherently evil, actually. <laughs> Self-serving. You know, if we're going to spend that much time taking care of our bodies, how much time are you taking to get to know your Father, to get to know your Creator, to get to know Jesus Christ, to understand His Word? You know, think about it. Think about it. Being born again of the Holy Spirit is what saves you. That's, well, no, and that only comes through knowing Christ, Jesus Christ who he is, and what he did, understanding, believing, obeying. My sheep, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. All right? You know, I don't know if I did that verse yet. I'll have to double check that. That sounds like a good one. <laughs> so, there's that. All right, God bless. Have a great day. Um, understand, you're not... Most people ain't going to see it coming, but we'll see that day approaching, and it's approaching quickly, quickly. It's going to catch a lot of people off guard. And if you've ever been divorced or lost a loved one, you know, and, I, and I'm not saying because of any, any uh, you know, where you've seen things coming like, you know, there's abuse or drug abuse or, or, or different things even just lo you losing a loved one or divorce that pain and agony you feel in your soul it's nothing it's nothing compared to the way it's going to be when God's people are caught up out of here if you're left behind and it'll become painfully obvious what this world is Satan will be in full control for a while all right God bless love respect everybody have a great day bye